Hi, so in this video I wanted to show you how to use Traffic Parrot APIs. So the first thing we're going to need is Traffic Parrot. So I'm going to go ahead to the Traffic Parrot directory and start it up. And um, there we go, Traffic Parrot is running. So let's have a look at it. There it is, that's the web user interface. And what we are going to also need is a Postman. So we're going to use Postman to um, send requests to Traffic Parrot APIs. So what we can do is import Postman collections that we provide for you guys. And they're available at trafficparrot.com slash documentation slash the version of the traffic version of Traffic Parrot you're using downloads postman.json. So I'm copy, I'm going to just copy that URL and import it to Postman. There we go. So we got HTTP APIs, JMS APIs, and gRPC APIs. Let's have a look at a sample HTTP API. Uh, we can, for example, get all mappings. Well, there are no, no mappings at the moment. So we can, for example, add a mapping. Uh, I'm just going to keep the defaults here to keep it simple. It's going to send that, and there's going to be a mapping that's been added with these defaults. Um, and if I get the mappings again, I got that new mapping. Okay. Um, we can also you can also play with the um, GMS APIs and gRPC APIs. Maybe let's have a look at the gRPC APIs. So let's get all the gRPC mappings. There are none. What we can do is add a new mapping. Again, I'm just gonna keep the defaults in here. Send that. Um, uh, that came back with okay. And if I get all the mappings right now. Uh, I see the mapping. We can actually go and try and delete that. So I'm going to copy the ID of that mapping and pass it on to uh, delete. So um, instead of this ID, we're going to use this. Send it. And that seems like it's come back with 200. So if I get all the mappings again, it comes back with nothing. Okay. So yeah, if you wanted to explore how Traffic Parrot APIs work, just use these Postman collections. And one thing I wanted to point out, which is quite important, is that uh, these APIs were not designed to be used externally by third parties. And they are our internal APIs. So uh, the reason I'm mentioning this is because sometimes they might be a bit unintuitive or difficult to use. So please, if you have any issues with them, just contact us at support.trafficpower.com. And in the meantime, we're going to be working on improving them and making them properly restful. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.